Charles is not happy. He is really at the point now. If Harry goes along, if this book goes, it's that's it. He's going to be kicked out of royal life. And I say good. That's going to be the ultimate smackdown. That's the only way you can get anything to be taken seriously that you say. If you really stick to the ultimate. It's a privilege to be in the royal family. It's a privilege to be able to be amongst those with that kind of power. You think you could just walk around as a wackadoo doing what you do and there be no consequences to your behavior? This is going to be one of those things that I'm telling you, Harry has found himself in a position that is going to lead him to the abyss of nowhere good. Mm -mm. No, no, no. So what is happening? So Harry is going to be facing the very real possibility of being kicked out of royal life forever if this book goes forward. And there is just no way you can say you're going to try to make a deal to buy the book from the publisher so that it's not published because Harry could turn back around and, and do it again. He said he was going to be putting out three books. This is like $40 million. So he has made a deal with the devil and now he is in a position he is not going to find himself in a good spot. He's going to be cut off a royal life if this book sees the light of day. So reportedly no one in the royal family knows what is in Prince Harry's forthcoming memoir. But according to OK, if the book reveals any family secrets, Harry is going to be cut off from royal life. <laughs> He's going to get the ultimate, you guys. It's going to be... It's going to be a forward and a back slap. <laughs> He's going to be bad for the royal family, you guys. It is not going to be good. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's just kind of like you so you you have made such poor choices. How can you think you can go just speak badly about your family and they're just going to be like, oh, OK, OK, how you doing when they see you at the funeral? Because now they're complaining about how they were mistreated during the funeral of Queen Elizabeth. Well, yeah, that's right. What you expect? They are not living in reality. I'm telling you, these two are living in zombie land. They're just going around like zombies. It's like, oh, OK, <laughs> docu-series. It's not a reality TV. It's a docu-series. Yes, it's a docu-series. <laughs> I got an idea. Let's make some money. Let's make some money so we don't have to rely on those royals. I'll tell all the family secrets. And Megan's like, okay, shoot, sure, yeah, you know the secrets, Harry. <laughs> Let's tell the secrets. And then they tell them the secrets. And then they got the money, bought the big house. And then it's like, okay, uh, if we have any of our secrets come out in that book, you're kicked out of royal life. And, and now Harry and Megan are like, Oh, shoot. We didn't think they'd kick us out. I mean, are you serious? For real, for real, King Charles, you're going to kick us out the royal family? Yep. You're going to be kicked out. But I have nothing in that book that's talking about no family secrets. Like what he's going to write about. What is he going to write about? How much he misses his mother. You know, how he maybe didn't like having to walk behind her casket the day of her funeral. Okay, some things that we would like to know. What were you thinking? What were your thoughts? I'm sure that must have been very difficult for you. Okay, page two. <laughs> what you got to write now? <laughs> Well, you just go just talk about, uh, yeah, those roses in the rose garden at High Grove. What you going to talk about? Your daddy's garden? What are you going to talk about? And so for his part, King Charles III, Harry's father is in a panic over the book as he tries to bury some secrets forever. While Harry and wife Meghan still carry the Duke and the Duchess of Sussex titles, their children, Archie and Lilybeck Curling, do not have titles. This decision is up to Charles and the King has issued a firm warning to Harry that if he rats him out in any way in the book, Harry's whole family will be stripped of their titles. And this is the thing this could jeopardize King Charles's whole reign. Like moving forward, this could really set the tone for the rest of King Charles's reign. He has to put his foot down and say, look, I'm not dealing with no nonsense. You rat me out, you're going to be out. And this is very telling because this right here tells me it's like there's some secrets, y'all. There are some secrets. And King Charles doesn't want them out. And Harry knows he holds something valuable, but how valuable is it for you? Is it so valuable that you're willing to sell your soul? You're willing to 
rat out your family for the dollars? Ironically though, King Charles did the same thing to his mother. Did you know that? Yes, he did. He did write about his mother, the queen, and had some words for her in one of his books, in a book that he had, but he came out and apologized later for it something that Harry and Meghan have never done. They've never apologized about anything. So I don't know that they'll ever come to their senses. Like they, they seriously are in stuck in stupid. The outlet also reports that Charles is holding off on the decision to give Archie and Lily Prince and Princess titles until after he, you know, reads the tell all. And that's to be expected. It's just like, okay, let's see what that book says. Now, I ain't given no titles until I see what comes out in that book. So according to the outlet, Harry has been given an ultimatum from the royal family. Either you shut down publication of the $20 million memoir or you face a permanent lack of trust within the royal family with ties severed for good. And I find this so ironic how there's reports of Kate wanting to extend an olive branch. No, she ain't. Kate ain't done no such thing. Catherine, she's done no such thing. You know how I know? Because she ain't done nothing wrong. The girl didn't put every step forward the best way possible. Why would she come out and say, I'm sorry? Why would she say that when she's done nothing wrong? That's nothing but some silly PR nonsense that Harry and Meghan have been putting out there. Like people want to apologize to them. No one has done anything to them. If anything, they've done things to the royals. That's what's so ironic about all of this. Well, that's what is so messed up about everything is because they think that people have done them wrong. No, you've acted like spoiled brats. So Charles, he has gone into severe crisis management mode. He knows that Harry holds the key to a closet full of dark secrets. It goes way deeper than simply Harry calling Charles on TV a bad father. And Charles knows it. I mean, can you imagine beginning your reign and your wackadoo son is out there frolicking in California, getting ready to write a book and tell all of your secrets and you're getting ready to start your reign as the king. And you got this wackadoo out there doing God knows what. I'd have to seriously call M16, M15, the, the British Secret Service people would be like, we gotta do something. We gotta grab him. We gotta snatch him up and tell him, get his butt back over in the UK so I can keep my eyes on you. It's like, I gotta keep my eyes on you. You running loose, lost your mind, don't know what's going on. You getting ready to jeopardize something I've been waiting for my whole life. It's no different than what the queen had to go through. She done done all these things her whole life and then it comes down to the last few years of her life. These wackadoos going around causing all kinds of problems. Charles is apparently fearful for whatever Harry spills could jeopardize his reign. It could jeopardize a lot of things. And I know it's supposed to be coming out next year. I think Harry is going to do the do. I think he is going to release it around the time of his coronation because there's nothing he can do. He can't renege on it. A deal is a deal. Unless his dad is going to buy it out, buy the publications out, which was a three book deal. And the second book was going to be so bad that he was going to wait to write it once the queen passed away. It was either the second or the third book, I can't remember. But like, and this all really comes down in my opinion to his relationship with his wife. Harry would not be doing this if it were not for Meghan. It is so appalling that this woman has drugged this man into the situation that he is in now with his own family and threatening the king in the reign of King Charles. Like this woman is the catalyst to that. She is the one that has set the wheels in motion. She was like, come on, honey, let's get in my car. Let's go. <laughs> we're going to turn here. We're going to turn here. Oh, we're going to keep going straight here. We're going to step out. We're going to say hi. We're going to get back in and we're going to keep driving. We're going to keep, keep creating a mess with all the dead bodies going down as they pass. They don't care. They just, they just keep doing what they're doing, making destruction, never self accountable to anything that they've done. They're constantly the victims. And anyone that is anybody who, who continues to align themselves with this couple, you are essentially perpetuating, you are helping to create this boiling, sinister couple who is out to do no good for nobody. They're out to do no good for nobody or anything because it's all about them. And anybody that attaches themselves, they validate them saying, oh yes, I'm in line with what Harry and Meghan are doing. You're just as bad. That's right, I said it. You're just as bad. Because if you don't know what they're doing and you help to fuel the negative things that they are doing, 
you're just like they are. The book is due to be published by Penguin Random House by the end of the year, and it has apparently undergone revisions since the late Queen's death on September 8th, with reports emerging that Harry was considering axing the book altogether, as he realized he may offend the royal family more than intended, and that some chapters may now be deemed insensitive. Now, there has been last minute additions about the Queen's legacy, sources are telling Radar, and he's toned down some parts about Charles but okay toothpaste is out of the tube and the book is set for release regardless of the support of the Duke of Sussex um, the book is done and it will come out with or without Harry a source tells the outlet currently he is updating it to include the passing of his grandmother Queen Elizabeth but there have been zero discussions about killing the book zero and you know look you did it own it and wait to see what happens. Because if you get kicked out of royal life, that just might be a good thing for you because then you can feel what it's like to be somebody like, uh, <laughs> like us average Joes of the world.